Catechesis 139. Gospel, Matthew 11, 28 30. Come to me, all you who are weary. Today, we can learn more about the meekness of Jesus, understand the way to imitate our model. Jesus brings to humanity a yoke and a load. But the yoke is easy, because it is liberating, and that burden is not oppressive because it is the Lord strong enough to support the heaviest part. With its precepts and commandments Jesus does not crush, they, on the contrary, make us more free and we always make it easy existence. In the Gospel of the Mass, Jesus tells us that the load that seems heavy, it becomes light if we ask him to support us. The Lord offers himself as the model of meekness and humility, two virtues, two attitudes of the heart inseparable. Jesus turns to the people who follow him harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd, and earn their trust with the gentleness of his heart, always welcoming and inclusive. The Advent Liturgy presents us Jesus meek and humble, so that we draw near to him with simplicity, striving to imitate him in this aspect while we prepare for Christmas. Only then can we understand the facts of Bethlehem, only then can we ensure that those who walk beside us accompany us up to the child Jesus. In a gentle and humble heart, as is that of Jesus, souls start with confidence. There, in his most loving heart, the multitudes find shelter and rest. Even today it is from him that crowds feel strongly attracted, perhaps unconsciously, and it is in him that can find peace. Good Prayer to All Gospel, Matthew 11.11-15 There was no man greater than John the Baptist. In these days of Advent we are introduced to the figure of John the Baptist as a model of virtue to imitate and as a figure chosen by God to prepare for the arrival of the Messiah. With him closes the Old Testament and you will reach the threshold of the New. The Gospel makes us think that the Church suffers violence by the powers of evil, suffering and violence as well soul every day, prone to sin as a result of the fall of our first parents. To follow the steps of the Lord in this life, and then contemplate him eternally in heaven, it will be necessary that we fight constantly, until the end of our days. The Christian life is not compatible with the bourgeois comfort and lukewarmness. Advent is a particularly good time to examine ourselves on how we fight against our faults and passions, against sin, against the bad character. This fight is fortitude to fight their own weaknesses and miseries, courage not to hide their infidelities, a boldness to confess the faith even when the environment is hostile. The struggle that GE Upward asks us for life, and especially mind in this liturgical season is expressed many times in about a fortress. The resolutions not only have to do it but you should also follow. When we determine to perform acts of piety with delicate precision, without returning them for any reason and without making them dependent on the state of mind of the moment, it becomes concrete in the way of living charity, the desire to correct disordered aspects of character and we will strive to multiply small acts of kindness, good humor, attention to others. You start to fight the little things to become strong in the big things. Good Prayer to All Gospel, Matthew 21.28-32 John came and the sinners believed him. The comparison that Jesus makes on the two brothers who do the opposite of what was promised to the Father, it is proof that not always respects what it promises. All Catholics are called to work in the vineyard of the Lord, but few actually are consistent and respond with their good works. It should however be noted that this word is given by the Lord especially to bishops, priests, religious. Son, now goes to work in the vineyard. This is the mission of those who have the vocation and is called to leave everything, absolutely everything, to devote himself to the things of God. The work in the vineyard of the Lord is full time, but few are those who dedicate their lives unconditionally to God. Good priests and religious slash and there are and these are the lightning rod of so many plots against the church of God. I am with the their life of penance, renunciation, and contemplation. There are also many lay people who have understood the value of prayer of the heart and dedicate themselves to the things of God with complete abandonment. They continue to work and live in their families, but the mind and heart have always turned to God. Even when they are engaged in activities among the most varied, shall make all things for the sake of God and each work becomes prayer. Please do not only with the traditional prayers and those of the heart or spontaneous, 
life can become a prayer if you purify the mind from human thoughts and sinful inclinations. This path is challenging and wonderful, because every effort that takes you receive thanks and special lighting, capturing the spirit of God and life is joy even in the tests. The example given today by Jesus shows that with only promises not going anywhere. The promises of the good and honest people are retained because their right intention lovingly urges them to put aside all those things are not important and ephemeral to observe the commandments. They already receive in this life a hundred times more than they leave and which is opposed to the word of God. It is obtained from Jesus too humanly impossible if you have to receive it, giving up all those thoughts that lead to sin or to perform unnecessary actions with loss of time that can never be restored. We need the spiritual formation, and the place par excellence is the church. The catechism must be taught not only to children, even young people and adults have the need for lifelong learning participating in two or three times a week to the theological formation meetings in the parish. Evidently does not depend organize the faithful, it is the duty of the pastor inwardly feel the apostolic zeal to save souls of all parishioners and more, and devote much time to religious education of the parishioners. Many do not come to this decision because just reflect on the things of God. Our associates have clear ideas about the importance of preparation for Mass and prayer. It is good to pray the rosary before Mass. But why not leave at least ten minutes of silence for personal prayer before it starts? The prayers and then immediately begins the Mass. Then, the song during communion. You would not even have to leave here at least three minutes of silence for a personal interview with Jesus. And then do a song of adoration or gratitude. As for example some celebrants during the consecration do so quickly to lift the host and chalice that if one were to say at least one invocation fails. The first child to the father's request refuses to work in the vineyard but then meditating changing decision. He turned to the first and said, Son, go work in the vineyard today. And he answered, I do not want. But then he repented and went. Here is the importance of reflection and prayer to God for the strength to do works that seem difficult at first. Have no value the good words of Jesus and Our Lady if not then you do the will of God, as the second son who promises to work in the vineyard and then does anything. He turned to the second and said likewise. And he answered, Yes, sir. But he did not go. Our path is challenging and we have daily rewards. Simply think about the mysterious aid that constantly receive from God and the maternal protection of the Immaculate who never abandon his children that every day recite her rosary. Good prayer to all. Gospel, Luke 7.19-23 Tell John what you have seen and heard. The sending of two disciples to ask Jesus about his identity, does not indicate a lack of knowledge that already had John the Baptist son of God. And he looked at Jesus as he walked, and said here Lamb of God. John 1.36 this took place before sending his disciples. The Baptist had no doubt but his disciples had the need to understand, why are sent to ask, are you he who is to come or should we look for another? A question respectful and enlightening, in fact, Jesus does not take it as a challenge or complain about the reason for the presence of the disciples of John the Baptist. On the contrary, he is happy seeing them before him and to give a meditative response to them show signs that can only take those who come from God. Jesus was the Son of God but could not reveal it in that circumstance, it was premature, are the signs to bear witness to its origin. In that hour he cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits, and gave sight to many blind people. Jesus works miracles of grace when the request for help is sincere, made with faith, accompanied by a genuine humility. The disciples of John the Baptist have these characteristics even if faith in Jesus was to come, but they had had faith in the command of John the Baptist, and in them there is a great desire to serve the Messiah. Are you he who is to come or should we look for another? This question many Christians today do not pose even if, knowing that Jesus is God and after two thousand years of untold divine signs that gave directly to believers, through his blessed mother, the saints' authentic witnesses. This question is now even ignored by many that should witness the holy life the divinity of Jesus. The great desire that we find in the disciples of John the Baptist, 
is no longer found in many Christians to the dissipated life and material interests that take precedence over spirituality. This is the grace time to stop and wonder which direction has taken the life you lead. Even those who do not commit major sins but pray little, and neglects the spiritual life, has to wonder if he deserves the miraculous signs that Jesus sent to those who want to remain in communion with him and want to engage observing the commandments and the gospel. The answer given by Jesus to the disciples of John the Baptist who will then follow him, is also valid for us and we have to reflect on these words, go and tell John what you have seen and heard, the blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news. This is Jesus, he alone does these wonderful and not the fake clairvoyants and swindlers who pretend to be God's apostles. Today begins the novena to the infant Jesus and these days it is right and good to devote more time to prayer and to the knowledge of the Lord. Graces are received with great ease when he believes in Jesus, it is not, however, an intellectual knowledge just as the devils have led astray and many theologians, is the knowledge of the heart that loves God. True prayer is to be notified before the heart, we must pray with true love. In these days of preparation for Christmas, we think more about Jesus and he will send small and big signs of his love. Good prayer to all. Gospel, Luke 1.57-66 Birth of John the Baptist We approach to Christmas and we still have a bit of time to learn more about this unique and wonderful mystery. Each of us understands the Christmas spirituality that has, for example, those principles and teachers atheists or skeptics do not want to live the Christian joy of the birth of the Son of God in the flesh. Not only they do not believe in Christmas, but incorrectly impose thousands of children and young people their frustrations. The disappointments of life lead him to live perpetually in disheartened, and none of those who are far from Jesus lives through these painful trials. Many come to depression and often do not realize it, for some reason that distracts manage to overcome the fall while remaining distant from the light and truth. Atheists and sinners far from Jesus are causing me so much pain, every day I stay to reflect on their unstable and instinctive condition, an attitude that leads them to commit many sins and to live in a troubling moral confusion. Jesus also wants to save them and asks us to pray for all sinners. Every day I spend a lot of prayers for the conversion of those who are far from Jesus and, above all, for those who persecute you. Christmas is coming now become a bit wherever a pagan holiday, even Catholics are too concerned about the preparations and few are prepared spiritually to be the holy night in front of the grotto to worship the child born of a virgin, a child is well God. You who are completing the novena you are prepared and you have got to think about the baby is born and becomes an adult he will begin his public life through preaching based on love, forgiveness, and mercy for those who repent. Will do great wonders why no one before or after him. You incarnate God who came to save us from ourselves, he is to bring us his grace to raise us from the miserable condition. It is very sad the festive Christmas without baby Jesus in the heart or at least present in homes where we rightly comes together to share the joy and gifts. The greatest gift, even infinite, is not that child who wants to be born free in all hearts? We decide who will be our future will depend on our prayers and life choices we make. Away from Jesus remains silent as Zachariah, although the punishment was about his doubts about the possibility of his wife's pregnancy, but doing the will of God, he recovered his voice after expressing in writing what he had asked the archangel in the appearance. It remains silent and do not talk about Jesus when searching other interests exclusively, Rather those who believe or returns to God, speaks with a proper and loving language. He asked for a tablet and wrote John is his name. And they all marveled. The instant his mouth was opened and his tongue loosed, and he spoke, blessing God. We bless God as often as we want with our honest life and with prayers of thanksgiving, praise, and worship. I continue every day to pray for you all, that this Christmas will bring you what you want is good and holy. Good prayer to all.